Hello and welcome. <clears throat> Today we are going to be focusing on the hips and inner thighs. So let's actually go ahead and begin laying down. We're going to do a hip roll, which will require some space, so you don't want to be too close to a wall. <clears throat> Have room around you for that. And we'll start with the right knee and chest. Roll your ankle a few times. Take some deep breath. And do both directions. Next, we'll go ahead and switch legs. Left knee to chest, elongate the bottom leg, and roll the ankle. Do both directions. And when you're done with both directions, go ahead and release. <clears throat> Bend both legs and then bend both knees to chest. Roll around on your back a little bit. Continue deep breath. And left leg out. Hold the knee and roll the hip about three or four times each way. So switch directions. Both knees to chest. Opposite leg extends. Hold the knee and roll the hip. Do both directions. Both knees to chest. Left leg extends. Now you can hold the knee like we just did. Otherwise, open the arms, open the knee out to the side, sweep around, bring the leg in and across, and repeat. Do both directions. And then hold the knee in the chest. Both knees to chest. And we'll do the other side. Extend the bottom leg. You could hold the knee if you need if you're modifying, otherwise open the knee out to the side. Big circle around, knee bends in, works outward, leg lengthens. Nice and smooth. Switch directions when you're ready, do about four or five each way. chest, both knees to chest, roll around on your back, and let's go ahead, lower the feet, elongate the left leg, open the right knee, and if you like, take the arms overhead for a nice tree pose. And then spread the arms out to the side. Now rotate up onto the side of the hip and take a big stretch into a hip side stretch. Keep your right shoulder down. If this is a little bit too intense for you, you could have the bottom leg bent and you could hold underneath the bottom leg with your hand. Otherwise, the left hand is on the top leg and you enjoy a nice release.
come back to center. Bring the left knee into chest. Extend the bottom leg. Actually, we're just bending the left leg along the floor, opening for a tree pose. We'll do about five breaths here. Option to lengthen the arms. Take time, relax and enjoy. Open the arms, spin up onto the side, take a hip side stretch or a basic twist, whatever it was that worked for you on the last side. Nice deep stretch, deep breath. Very good, let's go ahead and release from that stretch and slowly pick ourselves up. Resituating ourselves on all fours. We'll do downward dog pose, we push into the leg, we lift the hips high. A little bit of a bend in the knees if you need, press really strong through the hands. Open the shoulders. Good, let's walk up with the feet, then walk the hands back, bend the knees a little bit. Nice straight back lift, arms come up, arms relax. We'll do a little exercise to strengthen the inner, the inner thigh a little bit before we work on releasing it. And you may wanna hold on to something, this takes some balance. We'll shift the weight onto the left foot. We're gonna do like an inner soccer kick and then back kick. Inner kick, back kick. Repeat that. Two more times, front and back. Okay, very good. And then switch legs. Inner kick, back kick. Inner kick, back kick. Repeat, building some strength and circulation to those inner hips. Very good, that's about five each side. Let's go ahead and take a chair pose. We'll just bring a little bit of blood flow into the legs. You can do a, a little chair or a big chair, a medium chair. Not very long, we're not wanting to make the legs tired today. We're gonna go right back into down dog. The hamstrings are stretching, calves are releasing. And knees come down. And let's go ahead and turn. To the side, open the legs up, walk or hop. So <clears throat> in the straddle position, the standing straddle, if 
your feet are wider, then it's easier to have a flat back and the inner thighs stretch. If your feet are a little closer together and you really hinge at the hips and work on making your back flat, you'll stretch a little bit more in the hamstrings. A little bit of a bend in the knees, perfectly fine. That helps the hamstrings and it might even help the inner thighs stretch a little less. But ultimately you want to have a moderate stance and nice lengthened legs eventually. Go ahead and bend the right knee, see how that feels. Just do it a little bit, and if it feels good, do it really deep, or something in between. Breathe, and other leg. So you'll feel this depending on where you need to feel it. So if the muscle is really tight, then you'll feel the inner leg muscle, and if the socket of the hip is really tight, you might feel it there more, but it's all being worked on and you work on it with the breath. We can do a movement now. We've warmed up, go back and forth a little more smoothly. And we've done both sides. And you can go ahead and walk our way into a squat or do a little hop. Now if the squat, if you know the squat hurts your knees or ankles, then walk into a seated position, sit down, maybe do butterfly or any other hip opener, otherwise hang out in the squat, take a breath. And then we're going to walk or hop back to another round of the straddle. So choose the width that suits you. The toes point forward or even a little in, but try and spread them up. Walk the hands forward, unless you wanna stay with the basic form. And then this is a sort of a combination of down dog and the straddle. Deep breath, again, a little knee bend is fine. The hips tend to wanna to pull forward. If you can keep them pressing back as you reach the arms forward, then that will maximize the stretch. Keep lifting the tailbone, relaxing the neck down, being steady in the pose. Very good, walk the hands back, bend the right knee one more time, hold that. gracefully switch. Notice how you feel. If one side is very tender, you might want to pause and do a little extra on that. Or when you do this on your own, your home practice, come back to center. You can always do a little extra on what needs it. One more time, we're going to do squat. Again, slowly walk and sit down if you need to modify with a seated hip opener, otherwise hanging out in the squat, breathing. Next, we'll gently sit down. and open up the legs. Start with them just a little bit open. You may want to sit on a towel if you need. Eventually you can open a little bit more. You can open one leg and then the other. Just kind of keep an eye on it. Sometimes one leg will open a lot and the other one will be more hesitant. With the carpet, or if your feet are on the mat, what I like to do is I get my legs open moderately and then I push down with my fingertips and I just scoot my hips up and the, the legs and the heels will just sort of naturally spread. So you can do that very gradually. This is a tender part of your body. If these are really tight or your hips hurt, then you don't need to try and push it. But if it feels good to gradually push up and get that nice wide straddle, then go ahead. Why not? Sit up extra tall, arms up, and now stretch to the right leg. For starters, you can just stretch to the lower leg. 
and you might have one hand or both hands on the foot. And you take some time to breathe and release here. Shoulders soften. Relaxing the letting go. And switching sides. So remember for starters, maybe you're just holding the lower leg. If it works for you to reach one hand or both hands to the foot, go ahead. Otherwise, stretch, relax, and breathe. Very good, we'll release from that stretch, bring the legs a little bit closer in, and roll the femurs. It's gonna feel weird to roll them in, but it is good just to sort of work the directional movements in both of the natural ways. Anytime you're holding a stretch in one direction, doing the inverse, especially after a really long hold, it's gonna feel a little bit uh, unnatural, but it's good to sort of reawaken that different direction of movement, get circulation going back to the hip sockets, and we'll reopen the legs. Now, if you really feel like you're done with the straddles, you can lay down, maybe do a little early Shavasana. Otherwise, we're gonna reopen the legs, come back to whatever the depth of the straddle feels like it's right for you. And now we're gonna do a forward bend. So a little bit at first, never needs to be more than just part way down. But if it does feel good to release your body down, feel the femurs rolling back. Sitting on a towel or having folded towels under your knees so you're propped up and have support, that's a great way to modify. Also, just not opening super wide if you're feeling overstretched. But otherwise, when it feels good, you can keep those femurs rolling back and glide the hands forward and work towards making more of a flat pancake of your body and enjoying it. Try not to tense up in the neck, trapezius, or shoulders. We're releasing all through the body and the mind. Good, and always welcome to hold longer if you're really getting into a stretch. Otherwise, it's probably enough time to take a release and bringing the legs closer together, roll the femurs a little bit, maybe isolate one leg and focus on that. Keep sitting tall, other leg, keep sitting tall. Good, and now the body's ready for a little cross-legged seat. We're gonna conclude our practice sitting with the eyes closed, a little bit of what I call quiet time. So just sit, sit tall, breathe deep and close the eyes. Take one or two more really deep breaths and then just focus on letting the breath be smooth. Observe about five to seven smooth breaths with the eyes closed, just enjoying a little bit of quiet time. It's 
It's a process where we gradually turn the volume down of the mind. Good. We'll come back to the body and conclude our practice for the day. Let's go ahead and do one clearing breath and then three ohms. Breathe in, open mouth, let it out, and then inhaling for ohm. Thank you for practicing. Hopefully this practice served you well and it was just what you needed today. Um, if you're interested in having early previews of videos like this and having access to my long form library and my library of workshops and breakdowns, then consider joining the monthly membership. There is a link in the description for that and there's a variety of tiers to suit people of all economic needs. So. Thank you so much. It also helps if you share the video, like, subscribe, and leave a positive comment. Let me know how this video worked for you and what you would like to see more of in the future. Um, I will do most types of practice. I'm not gonna do a lot of arm balances or leg behind the head things, but simple things, standard stuff. We will be having that in the near future, and I look forward to more soon. Take care, everyone. Ciao.